Welcome to Living Life. May the Lord bless you as you walk together with Him today. In today's Psalm, uh, Psalm 35, uh, you can understand that as a, a Psalm, uh, imprecatory Psalm where uh, you are praying against uh, evil people. In a way, and David is praying and cursing these people. Uh, when you see uh, the prayer that curses others, uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think that what is wrong with David and how is this included in the Bible? Uh, do you sometimes find yourself that praying against some people uh, is that same as what David is praying? And let's think about that together as we look at this passage a little bit more. Psalm chapter 35, verses 19 through 28. Let not those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. Let not those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They gape at me and say, Aha, aha, with our own eyes we have seen it. O Lord, you have seen this. Be not silent. Do not be far from me, O Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me in your righteousness, O Lord, my God. Do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think, aha, just what we wanted, or say, we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion. May all who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, The Lord be exalted, who delights in the well-being of His servant. My tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praises all day long. In today's passage and this psalm, and precatory psalm, and you see uh, the psalm is praying against the people that are uh, attacking him. Uh, this is not like how sometimes I or some people may pray against some people. God, uh, do not bless that person, curse that person. Uh, it's not that kind of a prayer. It's not a prayer where he is uh, asking or taking vengeance or causing uh, God's name to uh, come upon them and then bringing curse upon them. Uh, you see, David was not a person and then who was not so bitter and trying to fight back uh, against Saul. Although this psalm is written uh, with so many things that's happening, especially Saul coming against uh, David, he's not the one that is trying to revenge him because at many times that he forgave Saul. And this is not about and then how uh, he is seeking ways to fight back, but he is rather pouring his heart before the Lord and asking the Lord to pay back or deal with the situation and bring justice to what is taking place. Uh, this is also not about how some people say Old Testament God is God of uh, judgment and New Testament is God of love, grace, forgiveness. And that's not the case either because in the Old Testament there is many, many passages that speaks about God's grace and mercy. And in New Testament and Jesus and uh, Paul and many others talk about uh, God's judgment as well. But then, uh, how do we understand uh, these kind of psalm? We see it that David was not praying as a private person, bringing his grievance before the Lord, but he is coming before God as a king of Israel. As a king who God has put as a servant representing him, who is the king of Israel. Israel, the true king, and he as a servant of the Lord is bringing this petition before God. 
As these people are coming against David, the king that God has established, and they are rising against God and God's kingdom and what God is doing. And he brings attention to God and saying, God, look at these people. These people, your people, are suffering because of what's happening here. And God, take notice and respond. And that is what is happening. Not trying to do what he can to pay back, but bringing before God and asking the Lord to respond and intervene. In today's section, and there are a few things that we note, verse 19 and on, we hear the prayer that he is offering before God. God, let not those people continue. Let not, let not. And he prays and brings petition before the Lord. And then verse 22 and on, he brings complaint to the Lord. Lord, wake up. Lord, how long? Lord, rise up to my defense. Lord, do not be silent. And sometimes praying like this, we see it is invited. And that's what David did as well. But his psalm ends with him showing confidence in the Lord and his character and the promise that God has given. And at the end of uh, verse 27, he says, the Lord will be exalted. And then those uh, that delight in him and including him will speak again of his righteousness and will praise him again. His faith is anchored in God's character and God's promises. Yes, David was uh, in a very difficult situation and going through it and many times. But in the midst of it, uh, he was bringing his cause and what difficulty that he was going through before the Lord. But he knew that he was not just coming as a personal, private person, but as somebody that God has placed and somebody that God was using uh, to represent him, to care for his people, and to lead them in the plan, that path that God has for them. So he boldly come and then bringing these kinds of prayer that God will be lifted up and then God will be praised. Now, one thing that we notice here is a people that brought these uh, challenges against David. Without cause, they have come against me. We know through David's experience, we see how Jesus going to the cross also can be seen from here as well. Remember, uh, in situation that you may want to uh, say negative things or curse uh, against people, uh, that remember to come before God and knowing that He hears your prayers. Uh, pour it out before the Lord, not to take it upon yourself. And complain to the Lord, and many times it's okay to do that. But know that God is faithful. And then God loves you and God is with you. May you anchor your hope and faith in him and his character. Lord, we pray that you will help us in times of difficulty. When people bring harm or difficulty against us without cause or sometimes that we, that we do not understand. God, help us to find you faithful as we turn to you and pour our hearts before you. In Jesus' name, Amen. This program is produced by the generous donations of listeners.